Oh no, I broke a nail right before an event. What should I do? I'll show you how to fix a broken nail in this updated nail care video, so let's get started. I start off by smoothing over the cracked nail with a nail buffer. Then I use a cotton ball and nail polish remover to clean over the surface of the nail to make sure that it is clean. Next, I cut a piece of a tea bag that is large enough to cover the cracked part of the nail. The piece was too big, so I cut it down a little more so that it only covers the cracked part of the nail. Using nail glue, I cover the crack and the surrounding area on the nail. I first saw this teabag method a few years ago on a video by Julia Graff, actually a few years before I started making my own videos, and it has really helped with major nail breaks. I'll leave a link to her video in the description box. Place the teabag over the glue while it is still wet. My piece was still too big, so I'm just cutting off the excess. Once the glue has completely dried after a few minutes, use a nail buffer to smooth out the corner pieces and the edges of the tea bag. Try not to buff too much over the cracked part of the nail because you don't want to make the tea bag thinner, which would make the cracked part of the nail weaker. The nail is now fixed, so let's get into my nail care routine. To file my nails, lately I've been using a glass nail file that I got for free from the place that I get my eyebrows done. I find that this files my nails more smoothly and it's way easier to clean than a regular nail file. So I just file my nails down until the length that I want and I just file back and forth because I do have thicker nails, but if you have thinner nails, then just file them down in only one direction. This would prevent your nails from splitting. I like my nails to be square shaped, so I file them straight down on the sides as well. I prefer to make my own cuticle oil and for this mixture I'm using coconut oil, jojoba oil and also a few drops of orange essential oil. In a small glass bowl I just mix a quarter teaspoon of coconut oil, a half a teaspoon of jojoba oil and about six drops of orange essential oil. I mix the oils all together and then apply it to my cuticles. I chose coconut and jojoba oils because they're very moisturizing and the orange essential oil has antiseptic properties and naturally kills bacteria. I leave the oils on for about 10 minutes and then I place my fingers in a bowl filled with warm water for another 5 minutes to further soften the cuticles. After drying my hands, I then begin pushing my cuticles back using a wooden stick. Once I push the cuticles back, I then turn the stick on its side and scrape along the cuticle just to get rid of any of the skin that's on the nail. I do this very lightly in order to not scratch up the nail and not to cause any ridges in the nail. I use a cuticle cutter to cut off any extra skin. Next, using a four-way buffer, I use the pink, white, and gray sides on all of my nails. I use the pink side first to remove any ridges on the surface of the nail, and I do this just by swiping it back and forth across the nail. If your nails are on the thinner side, I suggest you skip this step so that you don't make your nails even more thin and weak. Then I use the white side of the four-way buffer in order to further smooth out the surface of the nail. Lastly, I use the gray side to get super shiny nails. I just love how smooth and shiny the buffer leaves my nails. So this is what the broken nail looks like up close and as you can see it is all held together just by that little piece of tea bag and glue. Many of you have asked me how I grow thicker nails and honestly a lot of it is due to genetics but a well-rounded diet definitely helps grow stronger nails. To find out what you should include in your diet watch my previous nail care video. Biotin supplements can also help grow thicker and stronger nails. So this is what they look like after all of this work is done, and I try to do this at least once a month. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you found this video helpful. And if you break a nail, don't stress out. Just try the tea bag trick. If you have any other suggestions on my next video, please just let me know in the comments or let me know on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook.